I was learning about something interesting called electro wetting. Wow, what's that? Electro wetting is the application of an electric field to a hydrophobic liquid, um, which alters the curvature of that liquid surface. Put this affecting the way light went through it? Yes, very true. So therefore we could make a liquid, liquid lens. lens. We think these should be tested on the ISS because they have never before been tested in outer space. These lenses are shock resistant, they have no moving parts and require very little maintenance, and are energy cost and time efficient. So, our experimental question is, are larger liquid lenses able to be adjusted and controlled more efficiently than on Earth in a microgravity environment? Our hypothesis is that liquid lenses will indeed be more efficient in microgravity than on Earth because the electro wetting will not have to counteract the force of gravity to change the curvature of the lens. The method we propose for testing this experiment is to have four liquid lenses, two with a diameter of one centimeter and two with a diameter of 15 centimeters. Then we have to have a controlled experiment tested on Earth where we run different voltages through them and record how that affects the curvature of the oil droplets. After that, we'll send them to the ISS and also record how the curves are affected by different voltages. It's important to look for symmetry in the oil droplets because an asymmetrical droplet means that gravity is affecting the electrowetting forces. In the microgravity environment of the ISS, the larger lenses will work fine, we expect, because the pull of Earth's gravity is less and it will not disrupt the curvature of the lens. Thanks for watching! Vote for Sky Merritt for the YouTube Space Lab competition. Focus, Focus on, on the future, future with liquid, liquid lenses. lenses.